So you can hold your liquor, can't you? Okay. She looks drunk. Come on! Drink up! <laughs> hold on, Shara. Don't you think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves? It could interfere with tonight's. What are you whining about now? Come on and drink, you third-rate musician! Or are you saying that you can't keep up with me? <laughs> Estelle, don't just sit there and watch. Do something, please! Sorry, but once she gets started, there's no stopping her. But you don't have to worry. Sharon never gets plastered. Uh, shouldn't you be worried about me? Hmm. <laughs> Things are starting to heat up in here. Maybe I should just... Uh, Shara. Shara. Shara! <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Really? Hmm. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of people who come to this inn to fish. Just a little while ago, an old man came here from Bose and spent all day fishing before going home. I'm thinking about giving it a try myself. I was able to spend yet another day relaxing here today. It's important to get away from your daily routine when you're worn out. When I return home, reality is waiting for me, so I better enjoy myself while I can. Okay, he did not go to bed. Where did Joshua go? Over here, maybe? Aha! Hmm. That looks meliconic. What are you doing whittling away the evening in a place like this? Ha! <laughs> Not much. How about yourself? Are you done fishing or are you heading back into battle? No, I've already had my fill. It's sure been a while since I did, though. Oh, that reminds me. You said you were going to read, but you ended up leaving your book on the table. You should be more careful with your stuff. No. Oh. Hmm. Okay. That sounds reasonable. <laughs> Estelle called him out. You're hiding your feelings again. I can tell that's what you're doing. And besides, that's not really fair. You always find a way to cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And while I may not be as reliable as Dad, I can still give you a shoulder to lean on. It's times like these when you should say thank you and not apologize. You may be smart, Joshua, but sometimes you don't seem to know what's most important. Very good. Now that wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, right! And in return, how about you play me a song on your harmonica? The Whereabouts of Light. Whoops. 
wonder why it is. That when I hear the sound of your harmonica in the evening light like this, it makes me want to cry. We promised, remember? You were going to tell me when you felt like it, and I wasn't going to ask. Right? And considering that five years have passed, it doesn't seem like such a big deal anymore. That day, your father came home with his, this beat-up kid. Some random stranger who never says a word about where he came from. Why would you take him in like that? Well, it seemed like the obvious thing to do. Besides, you're family now, Joshua. And like I said before, I know you pretty well. And you love books, you're a, wep you're a weapons geek, and you've got a serious knack for just about anything that comes your way. You're kind and fair, but you've also got a way of not letting others inside by using politeness as a shield. No, I think that this is quite fair. And you're caring and lonely. Of course, I don't know everything about you. If you want to make that make comparisons, I don't know a whole lot about Dad's past either. But it doesn't mean that he and I aren't a family, right? Being a family, for us, has more to do with me knowing his personality and his habits. The food he likes, not that I, not that I can make it, uh, and you're no different. You make it nearly impossible to argue with you, you know that? It's been like that since the first time we met. And you gave me that flying kick to the gut as I was lying in bed. Wounded, I might add. <laughs> did, did, did I really do- You totally did that, Estelle. And it was completely in character. And it was terrific. Um... I'm sure it was just a bit of childish play. Uh, well, I'm dad for my lack of social grace. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure my very first episode is titled Do I Hear Yelling? For, just from that scene. It was terrific. Let's make sure we solve this whole airliner mystery. I don't know if dad's been captured or anything. But let's resolve this with our own hands. That's exactly what I intend to do. <laughs> How about we head back to, to the inn? I'm sure supper's ready by now. We need to eat our fill, so we're ready for tonight. And hopefully Shara will sober up a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your book, Joshua. I'm actually done with it. And at this point, it'll just end up being a bulk weight. I wonder what I should do with it. I've already read it, so... Ah, uh, they have... <laughs> they have so many wine bottles. Hell, I'm begging you. I can't take another drink. It's pretty rare for anyone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shara. <laughs> well, didn't you two come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that. Right? We're gonna eat dinner now, so the answer is no! Come on, you two. When I say let's drink, we drink! 
You're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Rage mode. <laughs> don't worry, Shara. Olivier said he's good for another couple of rounds. How about having him keep you company? What? So you can still drink more, can you? <laughs> uh, you get the impression that he's never going to drink again after this. Joshua, how could you just give me to her like that? I can't. I can't. Don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? You're like a little demon and cute at the same time, too. <laughs> At least the fish are polite here. Ah, I guess it'll be just fine. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Please, Shara, I'm pleading with you. You and the fish. Don't pour me another glass! Oh, yes. I love it! <laughs> Shara, though, you might have a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, he's totally plastered. It looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunkard like Shara. Like Shara. Oh, wow. What a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately, I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. Are you sure you haven't had any special training, Shara? Hmm. It could be all the bizarre liquors I've drank. While well, I was in the trope. You know, like the ones with the scorpions and asps in them? I might have built up my resistances that way. But who knows? It's probably genetic. Let's just let him sleep. He looks so peaceful now. We wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits tonight. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it all wouldn't be a good idea. Damn it! He's the best caster! Uh. I think this is just an excuse for her pro uh, drinking problems, to justify them, that is. For the time being, we're going to circle up to the far pier. Wait a second. Interesting. She said far up here, so let's go over. I don't see anyone. I don't know what kind of business those siblings could have here. But do you think they'll really show up? There's no guarantee, but if Lloyd's information has any truth, my best guess is that they'll be here. However, if we move around too much, there's a possibility we'll be seen, and they'll take off. Since the bandits are supposed to come from the road, it might be a good idea to watch the area. Like, the tower? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, the obvious location to me would be... Uh, here. Or that's them, all right. 
well. Looks like we're a little early. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, if this were the middle of the day, we could have gotten ourselves a bite to eat on the way. Quit talking nonsense. We're outlaws, remember? Millis, hurry up and get moving. Wait for me, Kyle. That is some good shading. I should have known it'd be that. I mean, you should have, actually, but... As close as we can without being noticed. I should have figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come at exactly the same time. I really hate those guys. They act like they're superior, and to be honest, they're kind of scary. No doubt about that, they're quite the clandestine bunch. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from Dawn. Hey, Kyle. Don't you think Dawn's been acting a bit strange lately? It's not just like him to... Uh, if you ask me. You know, the whole hijacking thing? Well, I'll admit it was lucrative. Now we've got the army clamping down on us. Not to mention those annoying racers are involved. And he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom. No matter how I think about it, it seems like Dawn has gone way overboard this time. Uh, wow. What a- wow. Okay, maybe not the best morning, but I meant it as a compliment. Sure you did. If things are getting too tough for you, you're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by as long as you don't set... Excuse me. Set your sights too high. Although, admittedly, it is a bit colder than liberal. Do you think you can treat me like a kid and I'm not going to get angry? I'd like to see you get by without me. What's with your crappy cooking and all? Not to mention the... Hmm. Do you really want to go back to burnt toast and turning your own underwear inside out? Heh. <laughs> uh, okay. I see your point, and I really am sick of toast. But anyway, think about what I said before it gets too late to back out. Now, getting back to what you were said earlier. I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for ransom? We should take what we can get! And I'd like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Hmm. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys, too. He might have even gone Don to buy into this whole thing. It does feel like they're being deliberately vague, which isn't the best. Okay, that's a boat. It looks like you made it. On time as usual. Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now, if that displeases you, then let me offer my sincerest apologies. That's an interesting helmet. I feel like it's designed to hide. It, like, it has leather straps with metal buckles on the end, which would weigh them down. I don't... I'm not sure how effective that is defensively, but it would definitely help hide who you are. 
Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any other developments since last time? Yes, in fact, Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to the ransom from her own assets. I guess we're pretty close to getting to the money then, right? How about the Royal Army? Is there any indication that they've figured out where the hideout is? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time until they do. We've reported we've received reports that members of the Bracer Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff you'll need to leave your hideout behind. Dawn shouldn't have any regrets about it either. Yeah, that's very true. Ah. The helmet has a visor as well. Okay. I feel pretty sure that the airship is in the tower. Or on the tower. I think I'm going to be climbing back up the tower. 